can select here to interface the song. This is cool, man. This is like the shit that should have been in yet. Okay, let's split the recording right now. Okay. That should be one split. Anyways, let's continue on. Interesting. Can you imagine this was in Genshin? Swapping the story plays. I mean, it automatically does it, but like actually, like switching up the story to play as characters. Current perspective. Bro, we actually get different perspectives. That's, that's kind of crazy. What the hell are you? Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No entry. Oh shit, we were invited. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Thanks, Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ah. Ah, enough, get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Remember the family uh, of the It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Hey, bro. Sorry, Dr. Ratio. 90% of people get their information from Encyclopedia Dumbassia. A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Lovely. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Well, if we're invited course, guests. We can also use brute force. I thought that the family would appreciate that. Invited guests, and they just don't give a shit. <laughs> invited guests. Huh. This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. That's what you can jump by. Oh, whoops. Not the dang one there. Whatever, just keep going this way. Solving a problem by brute force doesn't prove your intelligence. The side room. Don't let me repeat myself. Right, it's not the obvious. Right? Fine, we'll go we'll to the side room. They'll never let you have fun, bro. Never let you do what you need to do. Well, alright, let's. Well, you know this place is a pain on the ass if you want. Feeling lucky. No oh, wonder so we can see his full kit, right? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Test it out, let's test it Also, this team is not designed for him. I'll go easy this time. He's a slow. He's gonna have made damage to you Spin freely. In fact, no one in this team has made damage to you because he broke my fucking shit. Grace and elegance. I don't think 
exactly remember how he works. Yeah, no one on the team's gonna deal damage. No one on the team's designed to deal damage. Enemy data secure net marker faster. Good old counter. I have the mark. Ah. Exit. Extra break. Hedger Rats. Oh, that's a shield. <laughs> Whatever, who gives a shit? We got up. What do you think hidden over here? Okay. Watch it. Sound Oh, was I expecting to do this? Eternal. Let's play for a while. Every okay. petal all will be swept away by the wind. The swag punch of its style. It's on me. Enemy data secure. Never how he's Time for a good old counter attack. Honestly, I'm not gonna look it up. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Bust, or maybe I'll take it off. <laughs> that should be kind of fun. That's a fire line, man. Right? I know he has a follow up attack, I don't know how to trigger it. I'll go easy this time. Feeling spiffy? Sure, I'll play along. I don't know, boosting him is kind of uh -huh. a bad idea. Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Enemy exactly. data's net mark accessible. Time for a good old counter attack. He's a random out of blind and front of all, inflicts unnerved on the single enemy down. Invisionary damage when an ally hits an unnerved enemy down. Critical. Okay. So you use his ult on top enemies. Enemy We're not enemy supposed to waste it. Time for a good old counter attack! Yeah, I waste it. I mean. Don't right. get this out. Hedge your bets. Spend freely. There we go. Yeah. Commencing support. I'm not follow up attackers. Ooh, he would be clean with the Clara. Will be ready Instead of March 7th. Oh. I want to get him, but I also want to get Acheron. You know, it's, it's like... The hell is that thing? Yeah, fuck right off. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Right, front, front, mm. front. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. Torment eagles. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Oh. Okay. Uh. Just make sure. Just, what button does the game think I hit? I know I did not hit. Gotta make sure. Hey, but we could have brute forced it. That shit would have been clean. Make sure. Okay. And I turned it the wrong way. Okay, turn it. This one needs to be facing. As I did, I turn this one. Did I bad? This one goes that way. Just gotta make sure everybody. Don't want to look like a finch to me. Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. I really looked at a picture, bro. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Nah, how about the Intelligentsia really? Guild? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? 
This is interesting. Why did why why did he like yeah go all in? He should have known he was smoking us. Rare than all to exchange the thing. Impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved virtuous image. Hey, someone's got a ball out. need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. I kind of like that. Well, I don't like that. It's kind of interesting that Dr. Risha kind of just appears in the universe. Like, he just appears at one point. We're not doing all these fucking puzzles, bro. We're burning through the story, we'll come back for the puzzles later. Hold on. Door's locked. What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Oh well, yeah, no shit, sir. My locked. friend, did you really make an appointment with him? Yeah, the guards didn't want it's to see It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. Didn't someone open the door for you? If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, this guy. Get serious. <laughs> I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Sandpit. Wow. That's an enormous sandpit. Oh. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Bro, you saying how much you spend, bro. <laughs> oh, interesting. Can we not talk to the bird? <laughs> like the trailblazer can't? Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Man thing. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. And what was there? Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? That seems like right up your alley. No time to kill, bro. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. I'm my best. This is nice. I actually get to play the same attempt. This is it. What the hell is it doing over there? But I will get the chest, though. <laughs> Don't you not count on that one. Ooh. Ugh. This guy, you can't step above that. Actually, I didn't check, but this is like... Yeah, actually, yeah, we do. Like Oh, I'd like to have known what that does, but... I know somewhere they tell us. I know he's defensive. He obviously applies a shield. No shit. Yeah, I mean, I could get Acheron, because obviously my Pella and I have a Silver Wolf. And then I could get Gallagher, and I could have a perfect debuff to me. That ruins my mono quantum, it fucks my Jing with you up. Which means I would need a secondary character. Which I'm building, which is Clara, and then Clara and him, oh man, this would be... <gasps> Rackhead level 2, bro. This place is actually hella confusing. Like this. Well, if they start implementing that you have to do... Like, uh... The fucking Hanu with this with, while walking up walls and shit, it's over. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. 
Well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. Pretty big. You need two hands to carry. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel you I don't once need. saw that could shrink people who pass through it. Huh. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you shut. Guys, remember, adventuring wears his heart on his shoulder. Well, people are gonna like. People are gonna love this dynamic of the suave, smart-talking gambler with the fucking. Very sarcastic and dry, intelligent type. Well, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. It probably is, bro. Who the fuck stacks oh, chips? The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? The pass through. Put your hands there. Put your hands. <sighs> yep. Enter a city within a city. <laughs> within the dream. Uh, oh, good heavens. D oh, good heavens. Did I drink? I am I still in a dream? Indeed. Very panicky. He's not like. I like that. I, th I oh, thought he would be like the cool, doctor, calculating, you're like. Huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! <laughs> I thought he would be like always the cool collected, always know what's going on, but they actually made him uh, actually like have a personality. I like that. This is the thing I thought was horrible. I'm, I'm so used to the characters being one dimensional that when they actually have personalities, it's not bad. Well, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. You say like your idiocy is baffling. <sighs> nope, we're just gonna slide. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. There's people here? Well, I mean, industrial pride. Industrial scum. <laughs> this is uh interesting, to say the least. Straight up this A posing mob is all. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Actually, Hello. step in the water. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Oh boy. <laughs> Ain't this something? Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Maze. I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Something about this is give it a Model. kick. Happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay, bro. You're seriously the worst loser. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule ma a sheen model. Model uh uh What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. You've got to be my witness. I like this. Uh, and I just fucking ruined that dialogue. Oh, capsule machine. <laughs> There's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. On the gotcha machine, bro. On the gotcha phone. So, 
So... I think we have to make a cutscene for that. I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Yeah, that's kind of helpful. Sunroof, it's a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> Interesting. Is there a miniature of him somewhere? I don't even see him anymore. Lousy a soldier. What's going on with that? We're all A posing and just feeling lucky. Watch this. Sound linger. Damn, well, that just came a snap when I hit that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's play for a while. That is not a combo of you just I don't know. Nice, baby. Head your bets. Spend freely. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Enemy targets detected. Well, I want to use the ability of enemies. So that I can fucking see how it and I get fucking instantly. Like nothing. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous how fast they fucking go. I'll go easy this time. Don't move. That shit's like, don't move. Uh -huh. You want to spit me? Sure, I'll play along. Fuck it. It's on me. More defense. Who gives a shit? Commencing support. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how I play. Time for a good old counter. Four support characters. Huh. Enemy targets to ready for another. No one cares. The combat report will be ready soon. Oh, oh I think the hit that. flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. <laughs> that sparkles is a flower, which just kicks the shell somewhere. How oh, is this gonna work? <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. Is he just gonna pick him up? There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Even worse, well, this team does not work for Dr. Racing yet. That's your goddamn gold. Are you serious? For the fear of the mediocre. Oh, not. No, what just happened? Clicked off my own damn stream for fucking sorcerers. Go for a punch. Oh. No need to rush. Patience breeds success. That's annoying. He's going first instead of everyone else. I can't put my D boss. Yeah, that fucks up the entire rotation, doesn't it? He's not gonna go. It's annoying, but whatever. <gasps> Enemy data sick net mark festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Grace and elegance. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. 
Can you find the answer? No. Come on, let's go. I mean, fuck it, why not? Let's just. Six to eleven. Yeah, I didn't get it anyways. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Another bar. Love that. Enemy data secure. Netmark Festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Just deep up everyone. Oh, look at that. 80. No, that's not good. Cool, There's I more know how I just said those schools and cows. Good session. Feeling spiffy? Feeling spiffy? Don't easy though. Not a hundred. Oh, ding, ding, ding. This team is not a debuffing team. Just a ratio is not gonna have. For the theater of the mediocre. I guess I also said drop the fucking Your answers? ratio immediately. Answer me. I'll go easy this time. Alright, crazy. This doctor should get almost as much damage as mine. Let's play. Can you find the answer? Mine's not even built. Mine has like some of the worst fucking kit ever. Grace and elegance. If you're wondering, that's not quite the opposite. I just couldn't give a shit if you don't want to test. Let's play for a while. Feeling sticky? Let's just be running it. Answer me. I'm not gonna yell, test, answer me. Just fucking whack your skull a little bit. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. I don't need to kill any more of these assholes. Ow. Thank you. That was it. Giant Doctor Ratio does giant Doctor Ratio things. Gotta love it. Thanks, Doc. Don't mess with it. This for a meeting. Good. Go. We gotta go there. Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Is it? Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. Very aggressive. Can we pull them out as an uh, adventure? Oh, we can. Uh, I'm idiot birds and you can't explain the concept of an idiot bird to them. I'm going to find excited to teach. Tedious. This is a disease stupidity he is spreading throughout the dreams that you will need a bird that will take a stand. I'm the truth bird. Wow, Dr. Ratio Bird. Great trick. Do -do -do. Uh, hold on. Piece of cake. Hold up, hold up. Takes me to a spot we don't need to go to. Going this way. Ballin' like a am on Quick! What a weird and bizarre, lovely adventure. <laughs> Don't pay attention to what I did. No one commented on the fact that I could. tour of Toy City has come to an end. 
makes me feel sad. Where's it? Yeah. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. I got miniaturized in Panacone. <laughs> I mean, it is something. It is rather interesting. You say. Return to the Louis the Villain. Turn there, I guess. Let's push on. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. How would he have died? Sunday Rishio? is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. I would not be that Tell comfortable, me about bro. your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. Unless he's not and exactly I'll going for a meeting. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. They do not want to work with the IPC. On what IPC? basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction. The sure. IPC. They own this dreamscape. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Uh -huh. um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? He's one I said the trail, but that was just an excuse, good doctor. Exactly. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better like to minimize said. the variables outside our control. But the trailblaze after her. Plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. Yeah, I think he's a bit more than a pawn. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Well, that red herring, the if dialogue, the chance of winning the is the just beyond this door, so funny. even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? Hear that, Mr. Ah, Dr. the charming audacity. <laughs> to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. All or nothing. You've lost it, little bro. You're smoking dick backwards. <laughs> Money might be right. Let's see how well his gamble plays out. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC Ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. Yeah, about approximately zero. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He has already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? More than you have. Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. 
I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. This is a complete... But there's oh, no, one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. He's dead. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. That sh old face, You're feeling bro. anxious because you're out on a limb. Put some old animation on this but don't worry. To give it something. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The stone. The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power, and every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Yeah. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. True. I can merchant give you can make gift deals. money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? Yep, this is what we saw Robin do. She can rip you the memories. The harmony, You're in their domain. Is revealed. I implore them to shed their light. You and can't I'll lie. Ask you questions on their behalf. Next. 
You have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. And if I refuse to answer? You can try. The Aquan used on us. The Harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion, encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. Oh, this is absent. You even know about that? Well, yeah, you talk to Spark. Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Who's the bird? Hmm. We can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> no peasants in it. Okay, so he has two peasants. What is that? Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? You're powerful people. How the fuck you could try to play him in his own domain? What though? makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. What are you trying to research Stellarons for? So that's why he was on her space station. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. 
Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. I still want to know who that raven in the room was. But I've also heard the ten Remember, elites in the There are no birds in Pentagon. So someone is that bird. Progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Is Dr. Ratio, bro? Who is he? Is this who shows up on. <laughs> I appreciate it. Gives him stuff from free. He showed up on her space station and captured Ifrit's fire flame. He's out here able to access a high level IPC. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> The golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Yeah, Topaz is stone. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The so safest place somewhere you would never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. That's why he won the money back. He didn't care about Topaz's cornerstone because he knows if he wins, he'll get it back. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. That is a gamble. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with, betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace, yet you acted willfully uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. 
I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? What is it built upon constraint and coercion? That's unity. <laughs> That's the thing. You misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Oh, you're gonna die and be reborn into the family and the harmony. System hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. This gamble did not pay Should off. Should you succeed? You will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites! Oh, he took a bet he couldn't everything win. from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. From one slave master to another. From the IPC. Who is that raven? This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, Let's find out. Are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins! Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... This is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. 
if we have to learn his real name. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Like, we don't- I don't think it's ever stated that Topaz's name is Yelena. There'll be or no Yelena. next time. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Akavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. I wonder, are they the last two Avgens? In that case, if his sister dies, by I can Triclops see why he'd hate the world. And can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself. And never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Alright? Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Um, I wonder if he does hate the world. Me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Yeah, how's that one? Well, everything? The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Good God. It looks like nothing can be found here. <sighs> At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. That's true. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Why are you going to ask that question? You know that bitch is I'm... dead dead. What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Yeah. Hmm, I'm sure. Good question. Let's be able to gauge if sure information is leaked up. No one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. Ow. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Well, she did, she's Even a stowaway. She's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. Not that we entered the dream she's in a completely different method. The legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? She already did it once. She snuck into is the hotel there unnoticed. Is other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? 
The Garden of Recollection can do it, and Stellaron Hunters can do it. The Memo Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. Black Swan. Fact proven to us by Black Swan. Yeah, and then the Silver Wolf can, the yeah, can... Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are Silver behind can literally case. manipulate reality. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible. But what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Who, who are you guys? Oh boy. The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. IPC sir. Get moving. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Are you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Oh boy. I was about to start international <laughs> incident. I spent all my year end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? Clown department. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Oh, Topaz! The IPC sex spot. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. Yeah, what do you think? My stones, she gave her stone to Adventurine? Well, the motherfucker like probably hasn't reported dead for room. hours. Adventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. I wonder if Dr. Rachel contacted her and had Adventuring <laughs> get fragged. Do as I ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Well, I can see yes. about the bomb the fucking station. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier Prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. None of us. <sighs> But yeah, the West isn't the truth. optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The it's crazy. Always treat Deep within the dreamscape are the cornerstones, not even Thank in reality. Miss Topaz, we are on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep, they're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. You heard her, guys. Don't stare at her. This is getting deep. We got all sorts of that motherfuckers cool over here. business with a Venturine. <laughs> I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. All or nothing is his mantra. Yeah, he's calling the he's nothing phase. He's cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. I bet you that. I don't think they, they can't back up. But... Always been good. He's Isn't always blows down his cases without a hitch. And Ratio fragged him. Never lost a gamble, which is why on the issue of retaking Penacony. 
I'm watching with keen interest. Oh, we know why you're really here. Yeah, that only works when everyone's interests are alive. <laughs> of course. It's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. As for the two cases, he's going at the foot of the table. Apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All nice. I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. This place is fucked. Well, I wonder, should I split the part here? How long ago was the last split? I even see it. Kind of. Let me open it real quick. It was an hour. Damn! Is that part really that long? Hour and six 